people knew that the Earth was round long before the days of Christopher Columbus. Ancient sailors came to understand this based on observing ships that sail over the horizon. A ship gradually disappears until the only thing visible is the tip of the mast. This means that the sea must curve down and away, and the Earth probably does too. Eratosthenes learned of an interesting phenomenon in the town of Syene in southern Egypt. At precisely noon, on every 21st of June, which was the longest day of the year, the sun was directly overhead in Syene. Vertical pillars would cast no shadow, and a well would be illuminated all the way to the bottom. This never happened in Alexandria, several hundred kilometers to the north. Eratosthenes believed that this was due to the curvature of the Earth, and he could use this to measure the size of the Earth. At noon, on June 21st, the Earth is being hit by parallel rays of sunlight. In Syene, they go straight down the sides of pillars and straight down a well. Meanwhile, in Alexandria, Eratosthenes measured the angle of the shadow cast by a vertical pillar to be 7.2 degrees. This angle is equivalent to the angle between two lines drawn from Alexandria and Syene to the center of the Earth. There are 360 degrees in a circle, so 7.2 degrees is about 1 50th of the circumference of a circle, which means that the distance from Syene to Alexandria is about 1 50th of the circumference of the Earth.